I'm El Tianco, and it gives me much pride to talk to you about the GMA Kapuso Foundation. At the heart and soul of the GMA Kapuso Foundation is Serbisho Toto. We climb mountains, we cross rivers, we traverse all landscapes, and go beyond all boundaries to bring our brand of service, one that comes from the heart, pure, sincere, and honest. It was in July 2006 when mudslides in Barangay Ginsaugun in Southern Leyte buried homes and took many lives. The GMA Kapuso Foundation responded quickly and provided the emergency needs of the victims. With the extent of the damage, we saw the need for rebuilding their homes and their lives. And so with the help of the community and the local government, a safe area was identified where affected residents could be relocated. The construction soon started, and after only six months, the Kapuso village, boasting of a hundred houses for the displaced families and a new school for the children, was born. The GMA Kapuso Foundation is registered with the Department of Social Welfare and Development, certified by the Philippine Council for Non-Government Organization and by the Bureau of Internal Revenue as a donee institution. It is our commitment to uplift the lives of the underprivileged Filipinos by bridging the distance between those who need help and those who are willing to help. Servisyo Totoo, made possible through the responsible use of media. At the forefront of our services are four major programs, health, disaster relief, education, and values formation. Within these programs are projects aimed at responding to the basic needs of the poorest of the poor in the society. The Kapuso Foundation believes in the importance of health and nutrition in developing a productive citizenry. Through Bisig Bayan, the Foundation provides free medicines, medical services and equipment to indigent patients. Patients are also able to appeal to the public for more extensive forms of medical assistance through the Kapusong Totoo segment of the news program, 24 Horas. Televiewers who are moved to help are able to share their blessings with people in need. As a media-based organization, the GMA Kapuso Foundation has the unique advantage of reaching out to a greater number of people, engaging their participation and involving them in our projects. Starting 2008, in support of the monthly national health events of the Department of Health, the GMA Kapuso Foundation started several special health projects under its Bisig Bayan Medical Assistance. Done together with partners and medical establishments who share our commitment to serve the sick, our free breast exam, pop smear, prostate and liver cancer tests, and even our free circumcision for young boys, held at different months of the year, are meant to help prevent and mitigate the effects of diseases, especially those that befall the poor. One such special health project that has literally brought smiles to indigent Filipinos is our Knitting Kapuso Project, held in February, the Oral Health Month. The project provides free dentures to qualified beneficiaries. In partnership with the United Nations Children's Fund, the Kapuso Foundation launched Linis Lusug Kids, a project which aims to provide chosen public elementary schools access to clean water and sanitation facilities. School children are also taught proper hygiene and health habits to keep them safe from diseases such as diarrhea and dental caries. Kalusugan Caravan a medical mission that travels to different parts of the country. It brings doctors, dentists, nurses, and other medical personnel, as well as medicines and other medical services to far-flung places in the country where basic health services are either unaffordable or not readily available. In the last quarter of 2009, five strong typhoons, namely Ondoy, Pepe, Ramil, Santi, and Tino ravaged the country. 
houses were destroyed, hard-earned properties were reduced to the ground, and lives were lost. The GMA Capuso Foundation was one of the first to deliver emergency and relief assistance to the victims. Through telethons, special segments in 24 Horas, and through our website, the Foundation appealed for donations to procure the much-needed goods for the victims, such as food, clothing, beddings, and clean water. The task was very challenging, to say the least. But through the staff and hundreds of volunteers, great dedication, we made it and we were able to serve more than 700,000 affected individuals. This is Operation Bayanihan, and most of the time, extraordinary efforts are needed to deliver servicio totoo. Another major concern of the foundation is education. Moved by a study that shows the lack of school materials as a major reason for the prevalence of public elementary school dropouts, we initiated the Unang Hakbang Sa Kinabukasan Project. Backpacks with basic school materials are given to incoming grade 1 public elementary school children from the poorest municipalities in the country. These children can now go to school with dignity, while their parents are more motivated to enroll them. An offshoot of the Relief Operations Project of the Kapuso Foundation is the rehabilitation and reconstruction of public elementary schools damaged or destroyed by calamities. This is our long-term response to disaster management. Known as the Kapuso School Rehabilitation Project, it engages the local community, particularly the parents whose children will benefit from the newly built or renovated classrooms to render volunteer work in the construction site. Doing so ensures not only adequate manpower, but also the completion of the classrooms in as short a time as possible. After Typhoons Ondoy and Pepe, the foundation started the rehabilitation work of 85 classrooms in 20 schools in Laguna, Rizal, Ilocos, Pangasinan, and Benguet. Done alongside the Kapuso School Rehabilitation Project is a tree planting activity called Kapuso Para Sa Kalikasan, so as to instill environmentalism in the collective consciousness of the community. Give a gift ally sa Batang Pinoy. The GMA Kapuso Foundation's yearly Christmas project, unlike other gift-giving efforts by other organizations, Give a Gift Alay sa Batang Pinoy is unique in that we identify different sectors of marginalized children in our society and give them gift packages according to their specific needs. Children with cancer receive a free six-month chemotherapy package. Corrective surgery package is given to children born with congenital defects like left palate and hernia. Malnourished children are enrolled in a 120-day sustained feeding program. Children in conflict areas, children of fisher folk and farming communities, children in indigenous communities, and children with special needs receive school supplies, toys, and a noche buena package. Children of incarcerated parents are treated to a Christmas party with their mom or dad. During the Christmas season last year, the foundation distributed Noche Buena packages to more than 31,000 children, including those affected by typhoons Ondoy and Pepe. Last but not the least is a Gipdugtung Buhay, an annual bloodletting project done in cooperation with the Philippine Red Cross. This is an affirmation that one need not be financially rich to be able to share and care Offering one's own blood so that others may live is the best manifestation of love for others. These are the projects that embody our dedication to our mission in uplifting the lives of the underprivileged Filipinos. Servisyong Totoo, that through the years, has reaped various recognition, citations, and awards. Indeed, the GMA Kapuso Foundation is an institution one in heart with all Filipinos from all walks of life, effectively reaching out to all Kapusos everywhere. The Kapuso Foundation will continue to be a responsible steward of your trust, a champion 
of the hopeless and the needy, and an organization dedicated to the Filipino. This is the GMA Kapusu Foundation.